Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. <laughs> Listen, I'm laughing at myself. Anyway, yeah, I do some crazy things sometimes, and I almost called it Pat's and Hair. But listen, I just got to doing two hair videos. Listen, you guys, I know some of you look at me and you see me sit here and talk about what God can do, how he can heal you, how he can put the fragmented pieces back together, how he can remove the pain, how he can give you a self-esteem. And it just sounds wonderful, but it feels so impossible when you compare it to you. You look at me, you look at the confidence, you see how boisterous my crazy personality is, right? You see that it looks like I am an authority on the subject. Well, it's not because I read 10 million books and got 10 million degrees. It's because I was jacked up. I was jacked up. I was loaded and and boggled down with roots of rejection, abandonment, hurt, emotional issues, insecurity, depression, sadness, self-hatred, self-consciousness, along with self-centeredness. Anyway, and thinking I was ugly. I thought I was always... I, every time I was in the schoolyard, I thought I was the ugliest kid in the in the in the yard. And there was some ugly kids up in there. I think I was kind of cute when I look back. Anyway, but I didn't know it then. What you believe affects everything. I don't care what people tell you. If you don't believe it, that is the area of crippleness. That is where the limits begin what you have chosen to believe. And as children, what else are we going to believe but what we hear? And if we hear four or five or six or ten people say something, a consensus makes it a fact to us, even to some adults. So when you grow up and you've been laughed at and made fun of and I don't want to hold her hand and she's so fat and ugly and blah, 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 and the list goes on, you grow up with so much emotional pain, which is what I did. I'm still big. I'm still fat. And now I'm old on top of that. But guess what? I love me. And I couldn't do that 30, 40, 35, 40 years ago. I couldn't do it. It was impossible. Until my loving Father, my God, my best friend, my healer, my comforter, the lifter up of my head. I'm going to stop before I get emotional. The lover of my soul. Once he got a hold of grandma over here, grandma became something beautiful. This ugly duckling became a swan. You hear me? Not because I'm beautiful. Not because I, I can make it on the cover of Vogue. I'm not talking that. I'm talking, I'm fine with my looks. I may not be fine with aging. <clears throat> oh, that was between me and the Lord. But I'm fine with my looks. I'm fine with my size. I just want to be healthy. I want to make the best of what I got. What I got to work with. And not walk out wanting to hide because somebody might laugh at me or look at me or look down on me. Mm -mm, baby, I don't even trip that stuff. And the only reason I don't have those trips, I don't have those, I'm not in that trick bag anymore. I'm not bound. I'm not tied up in knots. I'm not self-conscious. I'm not full of self-hate. I'm not full of anger and rage where I used to go off like a crazy woman. No, I don't have that because God's love. See, God's love is progressive first after he manifests his love to you. Then he starts opening your eyes to you. And when you start seeing the areas of weakness and frailty and you start asking God, not a psychiatrist, God, 
Please remove this. I don't like seeing that. Would you please get it out? I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I cast out rejection by the root. I mean, you just go down your list and ask God to help you do some things that you can't do. And in some cases, one of those is forgive. God, please help me forgive. And the reason I insist on that for you, you can't get healed till you forgive. You can't. Because the forgiveness is, I mean, the unforgiveness, the bitterness is the bowl that holds everything else together that is tearing you to, uh, in pieces, tearing you apart. That is enabling you to self-destruct. When you go to God, now I'm an expert on this subject, because Mama Sita was jacked up. Take my word for it. When you look at me, when 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 John sent messengers to Jesus and said, Are you the one or should we look for another? Jesus sent the message back. If you can't believe this, believe what you've seen. The works. Well, baby, I am a result of God's work. He has done a mighty work in me over the last 35 years. And I got a whole lot more work to be done. And that makes me get excited knowing that I will go from glory to glory, from strength to strength, through healing, through deliverance, through all kind of revelations and, and comforts. and Because people are going to hurt my feelings until the day I die. That's part of being part of the human race. People hurt people, period. So knowing that, knowing that when a person hurts my feelings, I can run to God immediately. I don't have to wallow in it for an hour, for half an hour. I can go to God immediately. And say, Lord, please take this hurt out. <laughs> it hurts. Take it out, Lord. Please take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Now, now, now. And guess what? It's gone. Less than 15 minutes, that thing is gone. It has worked for me every single time. Hold your head up high. Walk through that storm, baby. Because there's no better one to be on your side than our best friend.